guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Eileen. So if you were not with us today on Louisa's channel for Wacky Wednesday, um, I just wanna come back here and share. Sorry, um, I got a bunch of glue strings on my little mouse pad. Okay, anyways, um, this is what I was messing with and I also created um, a snippet for Chiquita because she is one of the girls that I was supposed to send a ch uh, snippet to and I I didn't create it in the colors that she wanted. I was crafting with Halloween at the time I was making my snippet, my original snippet. And um, Chiquita doesn't do Halloween and I don't think Eve does either, but uh, I think she was still... She was okay with the colors that I used because I didn't use anything like witches or whatever. But anyway, I didn't feel comfortable sending it to Chiquita the way um, the theme that I was working with. So this is what I made for her today on Wacky Wednesday. And I used, I don't know what this little trim is called. Uh, if you guys know what this is, let me know. But I, um, I'm used to seeing this kind of trim on like pillowcases and I cut it in half. So I actually didn't have to cut it. I should have just left it and just glued this down, but I cut it off. I cut this fabric piece off and I can, you can see it right here. So it covered the backing for me and you can see that edging right there. That's what that is. So that's the other side of my um, trim. And that's what it looks like underneath. And I used like some flowers that I um, I hauled from Louisa and um, some trims that were gifted to me, like this trim right here. This is from Kat, I kept it. She had sent me some happy mail and she had used this ribbon um, nicely wrapped with this ribbon. Um, I also got some of these little keys from my stash and added it there. This I got from a swap partner from um, Pen Pal Mama, I think it is. Oh gosh, I can't remember her name. Um, but anyway, a bunch of stuff from my stash. I even have a wedding trim that now you can barely see. You can just see the pearl part from it and the little lace uh, detail here. Also added some lacy trims underneath here and here. This pom-pom trim, I believe, was from Gabby, I want to say. Or, I don't know. I, I can't say who everything is from because I don't remember. I know this butterfly was from Kat that she gifted to me in a giant rack a long, long time ago when I was first coming onto YouTube. And... Um, yeah, I just held on to it forever, and I thought this would be perfect for Chiquita. Uh, her and I both love the color purple, so I used a bunch of purple trims also, including with uh, some pinks and some blue flowers, just to tie in the butterfly colors. Um, yeah, and I got this little heart, plastic heart detail here from the D stash. I've got little, little flower puppets, I think they're called. And then this is from Kat also, from that big um, rack that she has shared with me. These are like hairpins, and I just broke the hairpin part off and then added it to this little cluster. I got these paper flowers um, from Louisa, all of that. The charms I got from um, Small Business on IG. And um, yeah. I think they're from Rhoda or from Denise. Those two are the ones that I mainly pick up from. Um, Rhoda is the Happy Little Corner and Denise is, um, she is um, Jersey Secret Stash on Instagram. So if you guys wanna check them out. This purple trim here is attached to this lace trim and that's from a uh, purchase from Louisa just so much fun you know I thought that was a beautiful snippet that I could share with my girl Chiquita who's been so patient and kind um, 
with me where the others had received theirs I have yet to send this um, so I am set and I can send this to her now it's finished and I think it's gorgeous I think it's perfect for her she loves nature she loves um, butterflies and flowers and stuff so I thought that was just perfect perfect for her now speaking of Chiquita when she sent me her snippet or actually she sent me happy mail and this is what she sent to me and this I've shared this on a recent video it just says heart humor right there beautiful shaker bits in there love all the um, shaker pieces that she had included in her shaker it's just gorgeous and I believe this is also ribbon from her or it might be from Eve who's Eve Otto 101 and um, this is what I created I was inspired by Louisa to create a junk journal and because the three ladies were so lovely in sending me their snippets on time I created this little folio and it contains their snippets so this is the snippet Louisa sent to me and all I did with hers um, her original label was on the back of her snippet so I pulled it off and put it to the front so that I would be able to see her her label there if you guys can peek it right there but isn't this just gorgeous she's got some stamped fabric she's got a whole bunch of bling she's got dangly charms but for this instance I glued it down so that they don't get tangled up in the other stuff okay so this is Chiquita's um, snippet that she had sent to me and um, she made and she made a, a full-length snippet and she um, snipped it in three pieces and shared it with myself Louisa and Eve and this is what she sent to me look at all the beautiful lace eyelash trim um, some tatting some gorgeous fabrics in the backgrounds and bows handmade bows some crochet pieces and some pieces that she had dyed herself also just beautiful and then pieces that she crocheted um, now with this um, snippet slash junk journal, Chiquita had, she does and sells dyed, hand dyed um, papers and doilies and trims. And this is one of the doilies that she has hand dyed and shared. And then all the, the pages here are hand dyed papers from Chiquita. And I just added some trims from my stash onto the edges of the flip ups. So just like that also from my stash. And then um, the background paper here, this background here is from Louisa's digital kit. And this digital kit is called the queen and you can get her digital um, kits or printables from her Instagram, uh, which is My Crafty Boutique Co. C O. So check her out on Instagram if you're interested in purchasing that. Um, here, let me, I didn't flip through. No, but let me just show you what Eve sent. This is Eve's snippet, and she did this gorgeous background that she mailed her snippet on. Now it was meant to be removed because she had little uh, removable dots, glue dots. And then you're supposed to add it on to whatever you want to create with it. Look at all her dangly. She also added dangles and charms in hers. And just like Louisa's dangles, I just glued them down just so they don't get snagged on other stuff. And she used uh, paper flowers and buttons and crocheted items and beautiful little beads and tattings and um, a tool just beautiful and her background paper also had texture she made this with um, Melody and Chiquita on another live some, some sewing machine stitching going on around here so this is the item that she sent it on and it had her message on the back I didn't want to cover it or glue it flat so I just folded a section and then you could see her label there folded a piece of her card and then glued it onto the paper it's right here on this signature and that way I can still open it up and see her message 
And then this, um, more of Chiquita's papers, hand dyed papers. And here I just added some more trims from my stash. And they're just random right now because I haven't finished working on this. And this is also paper from Chiquita. And this little flip up, I um, it was an index card and I took my hole puncher and just put it into the hole puncher and you can flip it up. You can add a picture or message or little notes. And then here I just, this dyed paper has like markings on it, little circles from the pan that it dried on. And I just took the marker, Sharpie marker, and put little circles. And I love that they're not perfect circles. Added more trim, lace trim. Here's some more of Chiquita's papers. And I just took my marker again and made little circles. And this one is a flip out. I can add a message here or whatever, and then it opens up even more. And I can add embellishing pieces onto that also. And then on this section here, I just added one of her doilies. Look at that gorgeous color. I'm loving all the colors that she chose. Here's some trim just from my stash, gifted to me from friends. Here's more of Louisa's digital kit. It's a play on Alice in Wonderland, but she calls it Queen, the Queen. And here's the cat and just an ephemera piece. And this is another ephemera piece, it's the teacup. And I cut a slit right at the edge of the cup and you can use this as a tuck spot. So see how that looks. And then here's just uh, hand-drawn water drops. And then this one is a die cut from um, Erica, who is Scrap Diva Designs. That is her store. So you can find her on Instagram, Scrap Diva Designs or Scrap Diva 29. You can check her out there. But look at how pretty this looks. Isn't this so cool? So yes, this is mainly for me. And um, this little piece here, you flip up her her little snippet right there and this opens up and here is another piece of um, hand dyed paper and doily and the little flower here is from Eve and I just cut some of that paper again from Chiquita it's embossed and I made little leaves and then this one opens up like that I can stamp in here I can write little messages to myself or whatever but that is what this looks like. And then you just flip it back up. You can just open up the flap here, hold Chiquita's flap up. And this will hold it in place and it will stay there like that. And then on this side is Louisa's side for her snippet. And look at this gorgeous color right here. More of the same trims. I just used it continuously. And then here on her side, I used her kit with the um, ephemera piece that comes in the kit. Uh, this little guest check thing is from Chiquita. She dyed this one. And I just went and ripped it down the middle and uh, put it on two, two pages so that these are connected somehow. Just some paper from my stash. This is also Louisa's digital kit right here. Um, but yeah, that's what I did on that page. This one's blank. Here's one of the first pages I created. I used um, some tickets from Chiquita, the doily. The digitals are from Louisa. And then here's just a little envelope note from Louisa. And then I added some trims that are from my stash. And then this one's just more extra trim I've already used throughout. There's another flip out and a doily again from Chiquita and then I just took my pen and went around the corners I like that gives it a little bit of contrast this one's left blank here I have the little bunny from her kit I have the doily I have another um, does this one flip out oh no no it doesn't I thought it did uh oh, hmm. it was supposed to flip out, but I guess I wasn't paying attention. 
that's supposed to be a flip out but these are digitals doily some trim for my stash another flip up doily some tickets another um, die set here and then there's the back of my page and then here is a pocket if I had to add like if I want to add pictures or whatever I can add it in there but that's what it looks like I don't have anything on here um, as of yet but you know maybe later after I finish up the whole inside um, I can add some ephemera pieces or not I might just leave it like that and then I'm just gonna use this shaker that Chiquita La, uh, gifted to me and wrap this ribbon from one of the ladies I don't remember who and just tie a bow and it's done that's it look at how cute that is isn't that pretty oh I love this that's what it looks like all the way around you can see all the colors the papers just really cute I love this and um, the color it was this is a manila folder but I painted it with some of my um, acrylic paints and yeah so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed this video it was just to share you share with you what I had created today for Wacky Wednesday um, go check out Luisa's channel here on YouTube and the ladies that were with us, Luisa, Chiquita, Eve, um, all the links will be down below. So I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.